Hey folks, my name is Stanley111 and welcome to the Fallout Armory, the show where I take you on an in-depth guide on all the items that you may have in your Fallout Armory. Today we're going to start off with the most common, or in my opinion, the most common and possibly the most useful weapon in Fallout New Vegas, the Varmint Rifle. So what is it? The Varmint Rifle is a low-powered, bolt-action entry weapon. The courier receives one for free, in a poor condition and with a good supply of ammunition from Sunny Smiles during the tutorial quest back in the saddle in Good Springs. Although its damage and damage per second DPS are low, it can be very accurate at long ranges, and if you manually target outside of VATS, it can be very useful. If you choose to be more experienced in the guns and sneak perks, you are more likely to be able to almost every time one-shot kill sneak attack if aiming at the head with the Varmint Rifle. The Varmint Rifle has one of the best scope modifications for a low light vision. Though it doesn't always make the opponent light up, it does let the player make out their details, which can prove very, very helpful in the battlefield. Let's look into the durability of this gun. Well, the rifle can fire up to 595 rounds, the standard rounds, the equivalent of 119 reloads or 75 reloads with extended magazines. This is from full condition and at this point your gun will be broken and be needing repair. So if you're like me who reloads a lot in Fallout, get out of that habit. It'll benefit you. So what mods or attachments do you have the opportunity to experiment on this gun with? Well, you've got the night scope, which adds a mid to long range scope with night vision and around a 286 time zoom, which is going to be very, very useful for taking out enemies, along with the silencer, for obviously stealth. This just makes the weapon a lot more, well, <laughs> silent, as it's pretty self-explanatory. And finally, the extended magazines, which can increase your magazine by three rounds to save the reloads, of course. To use this weapon, you don't actually need any skill points in guns, but you are required a strength of at least three. The damage you're going to be shooting out can range from 15 to 18 depending on the condition, and also can reach 21.4 if you use the unique version of it. It takes 5.56mm rounds and you can fire 1.2 of them every second. It's going to weigh you down a little amount of 5.5 pounds and its general value is only around 75 caps. Right, the unique version, the Rat Slayer. The Rat Slayer has a black synthetic stock instead of the standard wood, parts that appear to be made from stainless steel and has 69 tally marks on the stock next to an image of a mole rat's skull. This bad boy can fire 995 rounds, which is about 125 reloads from full condition before breaking. It ranges its damage from about 20 to 24 depending on the condition. It's clocked in at only 4.5 pounds and around 2000 caps, which is much lighter and much, much more valuable than the standard variant. Before I go, you're probably wondering how to pick up this powerhouse. Well, the Rat Slayer is located inside Brock Flower Cave, below a desk in a lab. Warning, despite its name, there are a lot of rats guarding it. If you have any questions about these guns, well, this gun and its unique counterpart, I'm all ears down in the comments. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll hopefully see you in the next one. You guys give me all your ideas of what I should do in the next episode, and I will take them all into consideration. So thanks very much for watching. My name is Stelly Wonderman, and I hope you have enjoyed. Please drop a like, drop a comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Peace off.